Hey everybody, Beloved911 here again with another tutorial. So I just got a video comment on one of my videos. Um, the tutorial for switches variables and self switches by Dr. John Vargas. And he's asking me, how can you put a character graphic in text? Now there are two ways that I know how to do this. The first one is by, let's see, we'll create our little character here. We'll use the generic fighter. And the first way is by going to the second tab of the event commands. Go show picture. You click your character graphic for it. Now the ones that come with the game are a bit larger. So I'll show you how to scale them down. Um, you go to right here, zoom on the bottom. And make it about a 50, 50 zoom. That'll cut it in half both uh, lengthwise and widthwise. And where it says display position under constant keep it under upper left your constant is going to be about I think 410 and 185 I think I'm I think that's right I'll check in just a minute but and then so what that's gonna do is it's going to show your picture show your little face it's going to put it at the position and this position 410 185 is just above the uh, text and it's going to um, cut the size in a quarter so yeah if you keep it as number one that's your pictures temporary ID so you can have more than one picture up on the screen at once but if you both have them set as picture number one, then when you use move picture or erase picture, they're either both going to move or both erase. So you can change the ID right here by changing the number. And uh, yeah, so then you have them say their text. Just have them say hi. And then when you're done, you need to erase the picture. So on tab two, the like fifth one down says erase picture and it has a number here that's your picture ID once again so we have our picture set as number one so we're going to erase number one if you don't erase it the picture will still stay on screen while you uh, like after you're done talking to them so the text will disappear but the picture will still be there and you have to have your picture showing up first before your text or else it will um, well it won't show up until after the text is gone so I'll show you what this looks like my custom custom title screen so you talk to him and there you go now you can't have the picture right underneath or I should say, you can't have the picture right on top of the text because the picture goes underneath the text box. I'll show you. We'll set Y to maybe 250. Let's see, I didn't put it far down enough, but you can see that the picture is underneath the text box which isn't good unless you actually want it that way so and by the way that picture that I just showed you that's one fourth of the original size of the picture so that's the first way to do it which you can't have it can't overlap the text box or else it's going to go underneath it. You may want that, I don't know. But the second way that I can show you is by going to this website right here. I have it saved under bookmark just in case. So this right here, it's called C uh, Koa's UMS, Kakoa's UMS. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Right here, there under script, 
there's a little download link. Click on that. Have it save. Hit OK. And I th think it should show up on your desktop. Or if you don't need the entire demo of this, you can go to my website, which is crossfire.webs.com. Crossfire9.webs.com Okay, so this is my website, and this is just the script right here on the home page. It's really long. Just copy it and paste it into your script area. If you don't know how to do that, you go to your script editor, click on main, right click it, and click insert. It'll bring up a blank screen, you paste it right here. And I already have it in here. This is what it looks like. So I suggest going to that website, the other website, and downloading the full, um, the full demo of it. Inside the demo, what it shows you, if I can find it, there it is. Okay, so this is the demo, and each of these little characters has a different purpose, showing you different things that you can do with this script. And I'll see if I can find the person. I believe... Not really sure which one it is, but there are a lot of different things you can do with this. You can show the character's name, you can change the text types, you can show the name above the text box, you can show a graphic. You can make uh, thought bubbles and speech bubbles like that. This gets really annoying, but this one's not exactly the same, it's a moving animation. But you can see how this will work. And how you know how to do each of these things is you click on the character, and inside it has the different things it'll do. So, what you just saw was the animation moving. Right here is script. You All you have to do with this edit it and change what graphic it says and yeah this one changes the window skin sorry for the noise on the mic so yeah you just copy and paste all this and if I go to my game use this guy talk to him and you can see what I've done here it goes over the text box I should probably make this smaller but I have a little name right up here I have his face and all I did was go to the one that shows the face copy and paste it here and change the face graphic ID right here face 001 which I will show you show picture face 001 that's the graphic I'm using so that's how you use it it's really simple to use and but if you're scared about using scripts don't worry it's really simple and yeah. so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video tutorial